Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. So, I'm at work right now. <laughs> um, the sun is sunning and I had a migraine yesterday, so I still have like the hangover effect from a migraine. So I will be wearing my sunglasses for a while today. Um, but I just figured it would be fun to bring you along to, to work with me. Uh, it's gonna be a very scenic route today. Um, as you can see, <laughs> beautiful. So, I uh, traffic slowed down just a little bit. There was somebody on the side of the road, so we're about to speed back up. That's why I'm in this lane. I'm gonna pass all these people. So, let's get into it. In this video, you'll see um, we're gonna be traveling for a while. We're gonna cross state line, customer, get loaded, and then we'll come back down and then that'll be the end of the day. Um, so I'm currently on my second run for the day. And the first one is on the way. So it was easy peasy. Um, just get there, you offload onto the train, and then that was it. Very nice day. I think it's supposed to rain later, but right now it's very nice. And it's not too hot. It's about 80 degrees. It's humid. It's so humid. But other than that, it's a pretty nice day. Pass a couple of more of these guys and then we'll get over. There's a way station up here. Um, so I actually go through two separate way stations one way and then two coming back. Well, 
we will suck each other into each other and push each other away from each other. So that's why, like, I try not to be too judgmental because I understand it's happening. But also, there's a lot of distracted drivers out there. And boy, oh boy, texting and driving is not what I normally see. I mean, I do see a lot of that. But what is wrong with people? Like, people really are doing the most when they're driving. And they're not driving. Like, they're in the driver's seat, but, like, here's some examples of what I see on a regular basis. I see people riding and driving. Like, pickup trucks are, they seem to be the worst for pickup pick trucks when they see, like, in the middle of console, they'll have, like, a paper and a pen and they're writing something. Or, um, pickups also, like, I noticed a lot of them have laptops and they'll put them between the steering wheel and on their lap and they'll sit there and do whatever they're doing while driving and I also see um, people eating usually that's cars cars are usually eating and I, I'm talking like holding a bowl with one hand and eating with the other hand um, okay <laughs> And then I've also seen people self-servicing and I've seen truck drivers do that but I've seen a lot of people in cars and, and pickup trucks doing that. Um, yeah, like if you need to self-service, go home. Nobody wants to see that. So I don't know, I've seen, I've seen a lot and it's not that I'm being nosy. It's, when you're acting a fool, I'm going to look at you to see why you're acting a fool. And if you're like sitting beside me for a long period of time, like I'm going to look at you to see what's going on. And trust me, us truck drivers can see everything in your car. So, I know like when you're sitting next to us, you're like, you can't really see us at all, right? Because like... I'm familiar. I've been in a car next to a semi before. But when we as a truck driver look down, we can see your driver door, the inside of it. Like we can see everything. So we know what you're doing or who you're doing it with. <laughs> um, yeah. And, and a lot of times I just don't even look. Like I've seen some stuff. So I basically, like, if, if you're acting a fool, I'm going to see why you're acting a fool. If you're sitting next to me for an extended period of time, like, why aren't you passing me type thing, I'm going to look down at you. If we're at a stoplight, I'm just, I like to look around. I like to be observant. And it's like, the laws people break, too. Like, okay, I get it. Not everybody is 100% law-abiding whatever but when you have a small child put them in a freaking seat belt in the back seat like I have seen a child I've seen it like twice a small child probably three to four years old I don't know I, I really don't know um, laying in the back seat and yeah, another car wouldn't be able to notice that. You know, would never wouldn't able to be able to see that child. But from this point of view, that child's laying in the back seat, no seatbelt, no car seat. Definitely young enough and small enough to need a whole car seat. Um Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I have a lot of a lot of issues with some things I see, but what, what do you do? What would you do in that situation? You know, and it's like, the, the ones that are doing things, I just try to get away from them. Like, you are an accident waiting to happen, and I'm not interested in being a part of that. So, I just try to do my own thing out here. I don't really like to hang out with anybody. Um, this is a way station. I stop for every way station. Uh, I have to by law. So let's see, let's see. 
this line's getting packed up, let's go to this line. This way station likes to pull me in for inspection. I just had one the other day, so we should be good. Um, I've gotten, it seems like every month I get an inspection here. <laughs> Which is cool, because I pass and my company provides me with gift cards as, you know, like, hey, thanks for doing your job correctly. So let's see here. And I'm empty, so that's gonna help. I always hesitate just so they can get like a good weight and I always you know try to nod at them or give them a little wave or something because they're just doing their job like I am and that one guy he's getting he got pulled for an inspection the one that blue truck that was sitting in the middle he's getting ready to be inspected right now so it's not that big of a deal um coming on the way back i will be loaded and it's not going to be a big deal either because i know exactly how to load my trailer correctly to be within weight that unless something goes catastrophically wrong i will never be overweight and so i don't even go um to the cat scale to get a double weight Get like a little blinky blink. He uh, he flashed me over, which was very nice of him. So uh, truckers kind of have like their own little language. Um, we do different things with our lights, and we use a lot of hand signals because you can't yell over trucks and long distances like that and understand anything. So we use a ton of hand signals. Um, I call it trucker sign language. It's definitely not ASL, but it's definitely like almost universal between truckers. But um, yeah, use that. So he, he flashed me over, I blinked him, thank you. And on, onwards we go. So when I'm loaded, my truck, I drive um, a tanker. I don't know if you can see it right there. I drive an unbaffled tanker and that basically means that there's no walls in my tank so the liquid is free flowing I do all liquid and um, free flowing liquid it surges it rocks back and forth and side to side even but mainly front to back is what I feel um, going around the curve I can feel it side to side and like try to a little bit um, but so like if I stop it slams into me right and then if I start to go it pulls away from me so it's actually really hard to get going sometimes depending on the level of liquid what the liquid is some liquids are, are denser and a heavier weight per gallon than other liquids and then beginning of a load we um, take how much like we figure out how many pounds per gallon it is and then we figure out how many gallons we can haul with the weight of the truck and then we decide how many inches from the rim do we need to load it to so by the end of it like there's a lot of different you know parts of math that go to it but once you figure it all out then it's like okay you only load this trailer to this many inches with this type of liquid and you're good <laughs> so like for example this liquid that i'm about to go get i know it's 16 inches from the rim with this trailer in my truck because my truck's a day cab as you see i got all the windows um so that makes it easier i know for a fact that 16 inches from the rim with this truck and trailer even with a full tank of diesel and be about 78,000 pounds. We haul an array of liquids and we uh, we figured it out for all of it to what you know we got different a couple different types of trailers and um, you got here at the Vortex <laughs> and um, so yeah we 
figured it out. It's good. We even have a calibration chart or a seating chart for all the trailers. You know exactly what the capacity is. Anyway, this, there's a lot to go into it. Like, I'm not going to bore you. If you're interested, like, let me know. I can kind of go into detail. I'm not going to do, like, super job specific, but I can go into more detail. But, um, yeah, it's more than just sitting here and driving and looking pretty. It's definitely a mental game, and, and you have to think about a lot of different aspects at the same time. And I think that's where some people just don't understand or think about or whatever. Like, driving a truck's way different than driving a car. And I know that. I drive both. I mean, I literally drive my car on road trips a lot.
further down my route it is quite a situation um i guess there was a wreck up there it said there's a major slowdown the whole highway turned red like if you follow google maps you know what i mean um and it added a bunch of time to my eta there's just some really bad storms going through so that's why you see a lot of trees down in this video like there was two right there on the other highway we went there was a bunch um down so yeah we, it, there's just been a really bad wave of storms lately it is hurricane season get there basically when I get there but I'm gonna be a few minutes late probably um so that's basically it I'm gonna eat this real quick and then we're gonna get back on the road and head up there and hopefully they clean up that wreck because it's been up there for a while so I'm thinking they're in the process of cleaning up or it was really bad one or the other so um yeah, hopefully we won't run into too much of that when we do finally get up there. But we're pretty close to it now. Probably like, um, I don't know, 30 minutes or so from the wreck area. So, alright. Let's, uh, let's get back on the road. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Alright, so there's a cop right here, so I need to get over it. Preferably, I'm going to truck. The move over law is a thing. The cars are not letting me over. But it just be nice. So, I just called my customer and told him that my ETA has changed from 11 to 11.20 when I was talking to him. But I was telling him, I said, hey, it's changing as, you know, we're speaking. I don't know when so let's say 11 30 and he was like well he was running a route because he's also a truck driver so he's doing other things he's not even there and he said well let's plan for 12 at the latest i was like that's fine um with everything happening up here this is the same wreck situation that i discussed with you a couple hours ago in vlog time it was just a few minutes ago but in real life, it was a few hours ago, and whatever it is, is bad, or they're cleaning it up, <clears throat> and in the process, rubberneckers cause other accidents, I'm not really sure, but traffic conditions are worsening, and it is what it is at this point, like, there's not very many detours I can take unless they make a detour, I don't know the state very well so um yeah it just kind of is what it is now but you know i'll get there when i get there if i have to wait on him for a few minutes or if he has to wait on me for a few minutes like it's okay you know like his company's so cool 
I always go in there and speak to them all the time. I told his boss the other day, I was like, I need a paycheck because I'm here so often. He was like, yes, you do. <laughs> so his company is super cool. Ha, I love this bridge. It's so cool. I like it on this side. I don't like the other one. The other one's a drawbridge. But um, this one's cool. So I'm about to turn the music back on and you will hear other music. <laughs> and enjoy this because up here there's so much water. There's so many bridges. And now I, I am from the coast. So I am around bridges a lot. I've moved a little more west. So I'm not exactly on the coast anymore, but I'm not far from it. But I don't see water like this anymore. Just water everywhere. So I definitely enjoy this coming up here and seeing it. I like water. I like bridges. Bridges are my favorite thing ever. And being an OTR truck driver for many years, I've seen a lot of bridges. And I tell you what, there is nothing better. And there's like a whole situation over here. I know you can't see it, but I don't know what that is. It's got to be like a port of some sorts because there's like cranes and docks and, but there's not like, not a lot of containers or nothing like that, like most ports have. So I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but it's cool. There's a lot going on over there and there's the city literally looking at the skyline but um you might see it on the way back but I think the walls are too high I don't because these bridges are really high like I said this one actually is high but the other one's still high but it's a drawbridge but that being said the bridges are really high so I don't know that you can see over the wall but uh oh so my map just texted me and said 17 minute delay but you know, if the map says 17 minutes, it's probably double that all the time. It's always usually about double. So, I guess we're getting close to it. Anyways, music time. So, I don't know that seeing this guy right here is a good thing right now. Um, may not have anything to do with it, but we are coming up to the wreck. Well, the traffic anyway, but that's a rotator, if I'm not mistaken, which means that's a big boy tow truck, aka semis, or dump trucks, or heavy equipment, CMVs, and if he's sitting here with me, maybe he's just, uh, you know, going this direction? He doesn't have his lights on? So... I don't know, but that's not a good sign if he's here to do something. They only call rotators in for the big stuff. Might ask him. I don't know. I don't know if I want. <laughs> I could roll my window down and ask him, but uh, he's back there now. He's not beside me. My exit's like right up here. So, let me see. Yeah. Yeah, my exit's right up here. So I shouldn't be in this too long. Fingers crossed. All right, we're here. Oh, this is the wreck or whatever. This situation is, it says the right lane's closed, but it looks like people are still traveling in the right lane. Or this might be a second accident due to the wreck. I'm not sure. I don't know. But he's on the tow bed right now. So I'm going to shimmy over, squish, squish these guys over here a little bit. It'll be easier to squish this pickup than these campers. But yeah, it says right lane closed up here, so I don't know if that's, uh... Didn't hit anybody. We're 
we're good. <laughs> Lane ends, merge left. So, I guess the bigger wreck's up here. They, like, legit closed the road up here. Um, but I'm only, it's 11.04 now, and I'm still two miles away from my exit. This looks like it's the wreck, actually. Um, I don't know if you can see it yet, because like I said, I'm really, I'm actually closer to it than it looks on camera. But, there's the fire truck. Looks like a semi. What is that? It looks like a semi that might be tilted a little bit. That's maybe going over the bridge. That's a bridge. Um, I don't know. Here, I'm going to I'm gonna give you a little rotation right there. Give you, give you a little rotated so you can see it better. I can't really tell what it is. It looks like a semi or a box truck or something of that sort. And it looks like it's going over the bridge a little bit. Uh, yikes. Which, that could be why it took so long. Or why it's taking so long to clean up. I don't know. We'll see. Got you a little rotated. Maybe, uh, maybe you can see more in the video and I'll see it more once I get stopped. But we're going so slow right here. We might be able to. I might be able to see it right now. So let's. truck on a record oh yeah sure enough that's a box truck leaning over like I said this is a bridge it looks like he lost his broke his axles and lost his wheels is what it looks like and he's leaning onto the uh, the wall huh well Lottie's okay Glad he didn't fall uh, off of the road. That would have been a whole different scenario. Let me uh, let me get this phone call and I'll show you some more scenery in a minute. Oh 
as tempting as it seems To let myself believe All the signs I meet them What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? I'm questioning the way it works What did I do to deserve This change of rhythm so bitter I'm getting butt hurt Almost everything It's unsettling Focus on better things Star, star Hiding in your euphemisms Believing your superstition Following your intuition Ain't no way so good for you I know if you bring bad The bad will come to you That doesn't mean that All the black cat bullshit Is actually true Nah, don't need my fortune told To tell me I've got Unrequited love I got issues with my trust Got a conscience That's enough for me That's enough for me mm -hmm. Save up my luck I'm out of all the covers I'm superstitious enough To think that my day is over mm -hmm. Tempting as it seems To let myself believe All the signs I meet them What am I gonna do?